While we were there, we caught up with the West Indies and Trinidad and Tobago cricketer Marissa Aguilera, the T20 World Cup winner who recently participated in this year's ICC Women's T20 World Cup gives us her thoughts. Well, it's always good to come out and lend my support to Darren Ganga. He has been doing an extremely good job and I wish him all the best for 2019. Because at the end of the day, you know, the youths are the future. So we have to make sure and push them into the right direction. So this is what Darren Ganga is doing is definitely what we need at this particular time because we have to make sure we mentor these youths, you know, and make sure that they are going in the right direction because there are so many things that they can get distracted by. But, you know, something like this and the initiative like this will continue to keep them on the right track and even develop them you know mentally physically emotionally so you know I was listening to Darren Gaga spoke at the, the presentation and he said for himself that you know it can even help you in your everyday life as well being a cricketer so I mean it's just more of a you know a holistic um, development and I'm really happy that he's doing this yeah, and also being you know, you know an icon for women's cricket in the West Indies not just Renan and Tobago you know we, we spoke at the T20 tournament earlier to say about the struggles ladies have to face. So, you know, I found it very, you know, wonderful to see that, you know, women are included in the event is very inclusive and it shows the progressiveness of the organization. So, you know, as someone who very well knows the struggles women face, you know, what do you think that this does for women's cricket specifically? Um, I mean, it's a huge, you know, it's a process when it comes to women's cricket. You can see that it's heading in the right direction. Um, even in the presentation today at his foundation, you can see that one of the most valuable player was, uh, you know, a, a your girl so I mean these are the things that you really want to see you know the women being more interested in women's cricket and at that particular age is what we need to gravitate towards them and make sure you know that they continue along that direction because we need more women more young girls involved in cricket so once we can get that and you know with all these initiatives coming together because at the end of the day you know one organization can't do it you know everybody have to come collectively together in order to you know to reach the goal and the standard that we want in women's cricket to quote one of my, you know, coach that's very influential on me, he says, it takes a village, everyone. So, you know, it's, it's wonderful to have people like yourself down here and just the general atmosphere of the people here, you know, uh, it's, it's as a fan, because I'm not a player as well, you know, but seeing these people react, they're very, you can actually feel how tangible it is, how excited they are just to see that, you know, Marissa is around and Brian is around. You know, what is it like from your perspective, you know, that people are physically manifesting how much they love you all being here? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really important that they appreciate what we are doing because, I mean, we go out there and we work really hard and represent, you know, the people to the best of our ability. And it's really happy to see how much they appreciate us, you know, how much they look up to us. So we have to continue to be, you know, proper role models and good ambassadors for the sport because we are we have to make sure that we project ourselves in the right image so that they can continue to look up to us and continue to, you know, to give that support that which we always need. So, you know, what do you generally think about the bar for? Area, because there's a lot of people around it very proud so you know what are you what are your thoughts on the surroundings and so on and everyone well you know bra poor area country area is more like you know family oriented you will fight everybody coming together because you know i'm i used to live really close to here i'm still living close to this area so obviously it's always a good environment to be around because you always find the, the people more friendly and you know coming out and supporting whatever initiative it is so i mean you know the way that um, diagraga grew up in this area so obviously they will gravitate they will lend their support so it's more like you know a family you know environment so i'm really always always happy to be around these environments yeah most definitely you can actually feel the family the, you know the classic trinadian you know <laughs> everybody knows each other yeah. so that being said you know a couple maybe last year we did the, uh, the short power challenge and unfortunately you were injured last time <laughs> so once again you know we threw it out of darren ganga at some point we're going to have to check you do that are you up for that sure no problem <laughs> so we know you're a bit under the weather today so you'll be here as a spectator yeah. so you know you'll be gracing the crowd with your presence so it's always a pleasure i speak for everyone down here it's it's great to have you down here thank you very much thank you very much hey guys thanks for watching click this video for more and also don't forget to click the like and subscribe button because when you do you'll find love and happiness in your life